This is section 3.5, which is finding empirical and molecular formulas by percent composition. So first, you need to understand uh, empirical formulas. So the subscript represents the amount of moles. So for example, in uh, water, which is H2O, you have two moles of hydrogen for one mole of oxygen. This is also true for the relative number of atoms. This is two atoms of hydrogen for one atom of oxygen. The reason this is important is because understanding that empirical formulas are based on moles allows you to um, use only moles to find empirical formulas. So how do you find an empirical formula using percent composition? The easiest way to understand this is to show it in a practice problem. So I will do that. Scorbic acid, which is vitamin C, contains 40.92% carbon, 4.58% uh, hydrogen, and 54.50% oxygen by mass. Uh, what is the empirical formula of ascorbic acid? So the first thing you have to do is to convert the percentages into grams. So assume you can assume you have 100 grams of a substance because that makes it very easy to work with. You know, 40.92% will convert to 40.92 grams. So 40.92 grams of carbon, 4.58 grams of hydrogen, and 54.50 grams of oxygen. The next thing you have to do is convert these grams to moles so that you can compare them to find your, uh, your empirical formula. So you do this by uh, using the molar mass, so 40.92 grams carbon, uh, divided by its molar mass of 12.01 grams of carbon per one mole is equal to 3.407 moles of carbon. You repeat this process, um, dividing the uh, grams by their molar mass to find the amount of moles in the substance for each three, carbon, hydrogen, and oxygen. After this, you have to observe which one has is the uh, lowest number. In this case, it would be oxygen with 3.406 moles. You now can take um, each uh, number of moles and divide them by the lower one. So you would take, for example, for carbon, 3.407 moles of carbon divided by 3.406 uh, moles of oxygen, and you get about one. For hydrogen, you take 4.54 moles of hydrogen divided by 3.406 moles of oxygen, you get about uh, 1.33, which is about equal to one and one third. And then for oxygen, they divide out because it's 3.406 divided by 3.406, it's exactly one. Now you're not there yet. This is the ratio between the carbon, the moles of carbon, the moles of hydrogen, the moles of oxygen. But an empirical formula has to have a whole number ratio. So in order to make this whole numbers, you have to multiply it by three. That's the multiple. You find this, it's the lowest whole number that you can multiply all of these by and uh, the, um, uh, then it'll equal a whole number. So the multiple is three, so you take one, to one and one third to one, you multiply it by three, and you get a three to four to three ratio. So that means that you have C3H4O3. That's um, in the micro formula. So how do you find the molecular formula by using the empirical formula? So you'll be given a molecular weight, uh, which is how much the whole entire molecule is. So it's 176 AMU. This could also be 176 uh, grams per mole. The numerical value of molar mass and um, molecular weight are the same, but the uh, unit is different. So for example, AMU is very smaller. It's on the atomic level. That's one, um, you know, that's essentially on the atomic level. But for um, moles, it'd be on, you know, it'd be the size of moles. But they're interchangeable as a use of uh, the numerical value. So you have the molecular weight, but you also need your, uh, the empirical formula weight. So to find the empirical formula weight, you have to calculate basically the molar mass or the mass in AMUs of the empirical formula. So to do this, uh, you recognize you know, carbon, it's uh, one atom of carbon weighs 12 AMU. So you have to multiply that by the three carbon atoms that you have. You repeat that process for hydrogen and oxygen. So that's obviously one AMU for hydrogen, multiplied by the four hydrogen atoms you have. That's 16.0 AMU for uh, one atom of oxygen multiplied by the three that you have. If you add those all together, you get 88.0 AMU. That's your empirical formula weight. Now, in order to find this whole number of multiples, this is how many times bigger is your uh, molecular weight than your formula weight. You have to uh, take the molecular weight, which in this case is 176 AMU, and divide it by the empirical formula weight, which in this case is 88.0 AMU. That gives you two. So your molecular uh, weight is two times bigger than your empirical formula weight. So you have to multiply your empirical formula by two to get your molecular formula. So C3H4O3 times two is equal to C6H8O6. Now this is a practice problem. Uh, so 
a 5.325 gram sample of methyl benzoate, a compound used in the manufacture of perfumes, contains 3.758 grams of carbon, uh, 0.316 grams of hydrogen, and 1.251 grams of oxygen. What is the empirical formula of this substance? Now, you don't need to convert from percentage for this. It gives you, you start off as grams, so you're just going to convert from grams to moles. Uh, you should do this problem now. Okay, I will now go through the steps to complete the problem. So, you have to start with your grams of each substance. So, for example, you have 3.758 grams of carbon. Now, you need to again divide this by the molar mass, which is 12.01 uh, grams of carbon for one mole, and you end up with 0.3129 moles of carbon. Now, you should repeat this process for each three, for all three. Then again, you have to find your lowest, uh, the lowest number of moles. So, it's moles oxygen with 0 0.0782 moles of oxygen. So you have to take all of them and divide them by 0 0.0782 moles of oxygen. So, for example, for carbon, 0.3129 moles carbon divided by 0 0.0782 moles uh, oxygen is about 4. For hydrogen, it's 0.313 moles hydrogen uh, divided by 0 0.0782 moles oxygen, and that's also about 4. And for oxygen, you're dividing it by itself, 0 0.0782 divided by 0 0.0782, and you get 1. Now in this case, you don't need to find a multiplier to uh, multiply them by because these are all whole numbers. So this will be a ratio, it's four to four to one. So you have C4, H4, and O. So that is your empirical formula. Now, this is the same problem, but we're finding the molecular formula. So in this problem, you are given molecular weight is 136.15 AMU or 136.15 grams per mole. Yeah, you, uh, you can do this problem now. I'm going to walk through the steps to do it now. So you have to find your empirical formula weight, which is done the same as before. You have four carbon atoms. Each carbon atom weighs 12.0 AMU. You repeat this process for the hydrogen and the oxygen to get your total empirical formula weight of 68.0 AMU. Now you have to find this multiple again. How many times bigger is your molecular weight than your formula weight? So you have a molecular weight of 136.15, you divide it by your empirical formula weight of 68.0, and you get about 2. There's a little bit of leniency, but it's pretty close to near 2. You can assume that it's 2. So you have to multiply your empirical formula by 2 to get your molecular formula. So C4H4O times 2 is equal to C8H8O2. That's pretty much all there is to it. Good luck.